Hello Akwaba and welcome to this episode. Remember, in here we're getting well. Let us continue to get well day by day, little at a time. On this episode, I will be bringing you to a farm. Um, Happy Now Farm by Kana and Maya. They're going to show us a little techniques on how to um, grow your own garden. Little vegetable farm. Um, I don't know what we're going to be doing actually, but I'm going to get my hands dirty and I'm going to help him. He will talk us through how he was able to acquire this land and started his own organic uh, vegetable farm. Okay? It's... So here we are, beloved. We are with Kana. He's going to tell us about all the things that he, you know, this farm offers right about his gardening how we can um start our own own garden at home or backyard gardening he's going to tell us from seedlings to planting to transplanting and all the good stuff i'll leave everything to him mr connor please introduce yourself all right well hi everybody mm -hmm. uh, my name's connor um, so I met Shirley yesterday. Uh, I was just plucking away in the in the field, but um, so I have a small vegetable farm. Uh, we do all sorts of different different vegetables: lettuce, kale, carrots, beets. Um, and so the farm, my farm is Happy Now Farm, and I run it with my wife. And uh, we are at the Huntington Farmers Market uh, Sundays. Uh, throughout the season and we have an online farmers market as well so oh. we can deliver vegetables to your home oh nice yeah. and uh we build and maintain vegetable gardens mm -hmm. too um and we do uh but also i work with strong youth and so strong youth is a non-profit um that works with kids at risk uh to going into gangs in the area so that uh, we work with the middle school and the high school and they get Kids at risk get paired up with mentors, and uh, so we we just try to support uh, any any of those families that that could use a hand. And then they started Strong Farm mm -hmm. uh, when I was starting my farm as well. So we we kind of teamed up, and I'm helping helping with their farm. And um, you know, so we, we the kids come here uh, weekly and and lend a hand in the farm. That wow. is very brilliant. That is good. I like stuff like that. I love to support and mentor and, you know, help out. Yeah. Well, you know, they have something to do. Yeah. It's really important. Like it is. everyone, everyone grow, everyone eats food. So to know where it comes from and how, how to grow it. And, you know, other than that, you're outside all day working with your hands. You're, you know, exposed to, you know, there's really beneficial biology that you get exposed to by working in the soil and and by eating natural food that hasn't been uh, sprayed with a bunch of uh, chemicals and pesticides. Um, all for that. I yeah. believe that. I really want to do that this year, seriously. Hmm. And I'm happy to have met you because you're going to help me with my backyard. Yeah. Yeah. So now, let us know. All right. What is this? What is that? <laughs> yeah. So we've got arugula, celery, beets, kohlrabi, which is got it's got the crunch of an apple but the mild flavor of a cabbage, and uh, oh, it's so good. It's called kohlrabi. And is this something new? It's kind of like a cabbage. Uh, you don't really see it in the grocery stores. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, it's a good one. We've got scallions, oh. um, dill, cilantro, lettuce. Uh, more lettuce and similar similar okra and uh, artichoke trying artichoke for the first time and then back here this is really exciting so all of this was planted uh, everything in the ground you see was planted in the fall for the most part other than some smaller seedlings but okay so what what month did you really started this um, September. September? Some of them. 
Yeah, you, but you on Long Island with the greenhouse, you can go all year round. Winter. Yep. Oh. Okay. You can harvest kale throughout the winter. Really? Yeah. So with no heat. Too. With no heat. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. So over here, what do you have? You have the cabbage. Uh, yeah. So. This is all lettuce in lettuce. the ground here. Mm -hmm. There's, you know, fennel seeds. Is this kale? Kale. Yep. Nice. Uh, spinach. Mm -hmm. This is spinach. And also, I'm trying, I'm trying to root some uh, willow trees. Willow trees. So they're starting to grow roots here. Oh, okay. And elderberry. Elderberry. And raspberries. Just trying to to propagate some. Propagate. Right. Some perennials. What is this? <laughs> That's uh, just an accidental seed. <laughs> but it's a daikon radish. It's radish! Yeah. Wow. Yeah. But um, that was an accident. Mm -hmm. Just planted that itself. It was good. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what this one is? Um, spinach. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Baby spinach. And the arugula. arugula. Help yourself to anything. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm. Good stuff. Mm. Even the flowers. There's mm. no. It has no sun on it. I was scared. Mm -hmm. but... Yeah, it's it's pretty good. You have um dandelion. That's aphids, brown aphids. Oh. They're a problem here. But don't worry, we didn't eat any of them. <laughs> They're only on the kale. <laughs> Swiss chard. Uh, these are? Uh, Swiss, Swiss chard. Swiss chard. Yeah, I chard. see them on this side. Related to beets. It's a good sautéing. It's beets, right? It's related. It's, it's related. Oh, okay. It's it's the variety is meant to grow big leaves and not have a big root. I've never seen this. Beautiful, right? It is. And then it has like a root. No, you it just is. eat the leaves. You eat the leaf? Yeah, so you pull, I've never seen this. You pull the leaves off like this. Okay. We definitely taking some home. Yeah, please. Wow. All right. Ooh. Can cook it? Yeah, cook it with garlic. Okay. okay. But put some nice too. These are dandelions yeah. here. Oh wow. These are dandelions, right? They just yep. grow. Yeah. yeah. They just grow. They are edible too. Yeah. I, I really collect them for my garden. Yeah. For my backyard. They're good. I don't have a garden. Yeah, it's good. You cook them? Uh, yes, sometimes yeah. I boil them into tea. Yeah. Oh, wow. Beautiful here. We found a nice table in the garbage. You see? <laughs> yeah, you can use... I have bags. Oh, you have bags. You see, you have a little living area. It's nice. Oh, it's very cozy. It's, it's it is. Here. I love it. It's so hot. from here, you transplant these into the Big no, pot. these these stay in here. These stay in here. They just harvest in here. When when will they be ready for harvest? Always. I'm always yeah. You always harvesting. And when do you start the farmers market? When do you start? June. June. But the online market is up and running. It's up and running. Yeah. Okay. You will get it. Nice. Yeah. So this is my little seeding station. Okay. And I see potatoes. Yep. Yeah, we're we're planting these soon within the next few weeks. You have sweet potatoes? Uh, these are just regular potatoes. Regular. You don't have sweet? Because uh, I saw that the sweet. Yeah, you can grow it, them. It grows fast. We may grow them this year. Yeah, but... it grows faster. Yeah. This, year. this is my salad spinner. This is new for this year. Mm. Are you going to be making salads? No, or uh, just, uh, just it to it. dry it. Oh, to dry it. So it's, it's a regular dryer, right? Uh, yeah, it's a washing machine. It's a washing machine, mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. It's new for this year. It's new for this year? Yeah, I had to I had to rewire it all. Oh, oh you see? Oh, wow. Ooh. 
There was there's a uh, a lot of small farms do this. Mm -hmm. it, it helps a lot. It helps. Yeah. Because before I was I was not I, well. I had you know I, I put the salad in there and I been to try it. <laughs> exercise. Yeah, exercise. You can always use a little more exercise. Right. Okay, so I have a bag. So, if I want to start my garden, yeah, how do we go about that? Where do you live? I live in Islandia. Okay, it's not far. Um, so I can come over and we could talk about because location it. is really important. important. You want you want all the most amount of sun possible. You know, really, that's the most important thing. You need sun and water. We can we can. We can add soil and healthy plants and stuff, but if you don't have a nice spot with a lot of sun, you can't can't really change that, you know. I think so, I do. Yeah. Yeah. So you need a sunny spot. Yeah. Access to water. Right. And uh, and then we'll be growing things. We'll no growing time. things. I can't wait. Cool. I you need should. to go to the back and pick up my stuff. Yeah. I want that. It's beautiful, and it's healthy. Oh yeah. And it's therapeutic. Yeah, I want to do that. I want to go home from work every evening, get out there with my son and work. Yeah. Get our house dirty. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah. 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 So we can, uh, and then we can either put a an in ground bed, so just plant right into the soil. Yes. Or build like a wooden bed. A wooden bed. Yeah. yeah. But the the and best. I see cardboard. Too. You could put cardboard down. Yeah. And buckets. <laughs> buckets? Oh, planting in the buckets? In the bucket? Yeah. Is I that a good that. idea? Well, sometimes... I have I have the big... I have the yard with the soil. Yeah. I think right in the ground is... The right best. in the ground is okay. Yeah. Yeah. So we have to set a day for assessment, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. You want to see what he's planting in the... Yeah. Yeah, we can just walk in there and view. Okay. Oh, you want to see the field? Oh, field. Yeah, yes. let's do it. So we've got an almond tree here. Oh, this is an almond tree? Yeah, there's a few. We have this we have a little orchard. Tree. We have a little orchard here. Yeah. This is how almonds are? Yeah, the first to flower. Beautiful. I know, they look like a peach. Yes. Uh, they'll, they'll turn into a, a fruit that looks like a peach. Mm -hmm. and, and inside every peach, there's one almond. Wow. My God. Yep. I'll go and find out the tree, but it's beautiful. It is. Yeah, it should get 60 feet tall. We'll 60? We'll see. How'd you get an almond milk? Get a, yeah, almond milk. Oh, I didn't know you Whatever. could grow almond in here. Sure. I know, it's a, hearty, it's a hearty almond. It's oh, called. it's different. There's persimmon. What is this? This persimmon, it's called. The nectarines. Oh, nectarine. Yeah. Which one's that Uh, Either that one or this one. <laughs> no, they look like almonds. Yeah, a very, they're related. That's You're a ne related. nectarine. Almonds, peaches, and nectarines. Interesting. Right? Yeah. This is a peach. They look so similar, right? All of them. Even the leaves. Yeah. Good to know. So they Wild. change as they grow. Wild garlic. Oh, Just grows on its own. Look at that. It's different from the regular garlic? Yeah, it's not as strong. Oh, okay. It's good though. Elderberries. Elderberries. Which is a medicinal. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I guess the, the berry, you can make a syrup with the berry. Have you I heard of it? The, I see them. They make gummies with it. Okay. okay. It's in the pharmacy. Elderberry. Yeah. Yeah. You're so expensive. <laughs> yeah. I want to see the raw one. Uh, this is a mulberry tree. It's like a sweet. Sweet mulberry. Yeah, small, small fruit. 
We have um, thornless blackberries. How long will it take for all these big stuff to come up? You know, to be fully um, the matured fruit? for the fruit. For the fruit trees are four years, four to five years. They survive the, winter, and yeah. the snow, and all that. Nice. Berries, you can they can fruit that year. Okay. Garlic. So when did you start growing the garlic? Garlic you plant in October. October. Yeah. What? Right? July, the first like early July. Yeah. So it's like thick cuts? No, more than uh, yeah. Not. So this is the drip line I was talking about. Irrigation, right? Yeah. And it's a good idea to cover it. Uh-huh. Because there's a lot of geese. The hungry geese. I know. And what are these? Sandbags. They are sandbags. Yeah. Guess what that? Pretty much. Okay. Yeah, that's enough. That's good. Good. And over there, most of them are garlic, right? Yes. Okay. Garlic and onion. They stop the garlic and yeah. onion? Yeah, it was a hard neck variety. So what vegetable do you sell most? Uh, salad mix. And that involves variety of what and what? Um, uh, uh, like four different varieties of lettuce. It's just a, a fresh, you know, salad mix, a spring mix. Um, but people really like radish, uh, carrots. How do you pack them? Radish? Yeah, your online still hot pot and the salad. Uh, well, I wash it and spin it and put it in a bag. How how big is like that? a quarter? Like it's like like a third of a pound, a third of a pound, five dollars, something like that. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I'm just prepping the ground right now. So everything comes into light in July, right? That is when you do your big sale. June, June, July. But yeah, July, that's when the tomatoes are really kicking in. I mean, people love tomatoes yeah. too, in July. Yeah. Where, where are they? Cucumbers. No, they're still yeah. at yeah. home. They're still at home. Under, in the basement, under in light. basement. Where it's warm. Where do you start planting the tomatoes? Uh, early to mid-May. They get planted in the ground. In the ground. Yeah. But the transplant, uh, the seedlings. Uh, the seedlings get planted for March 15th, something like that. Right. Yeah. Hmm. All right. Yeah. I guess we have to, I have to get you into my yard to do the assessment so I can start my. Yeah. If I have to start my own, it will be. Uh, like transplanting, it wouldn't be the seedlings, right? Yeah, you could do a lot of transplanting, but radishes and carrots, you want a direct seed. Direct seed. Yeah. Sounds good. Cool. Sounds good. So let me go get my um my soil. Oh yeah. Hey. Yeah. And let's stem. 
Yeah. But it's yellowing. It's not yellowing. Why? Uh, it's not fertilized enough. Oh. Do you use that kind? Oh, yeah, chicken manure. Talking. Chicken manure. Um, fish. Some different fish products that are good. So. So you do, you do a lot of videos? Yeah. Cool. Are you, yeah, do you, are you always record you? She's always, yeah. the main cameraman? Exactly. Cool. That's fun. And, and her music follows. Cool. Right up the, every episode. I learned so much from YouTube, you know? Yes. You could, you could keep the container for now, just bring it back later. You think this yeah. rip? Uh, maybe. maybe it's not that strong. But you can just. It's okay, we'll make a little at a time. I don't want to bug you. You buy you them. No, I have I have many more. <laughs> If you want, we could just drop it in. Okay. Oh, in here, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. So we don't... Oh, right? It sounds like a plan. I really want to spend time mm -hmm. on my yacht now. I'm ready for it. Yeah. I want to do a lot. Okay. Make it productive. Yep, I know. It, does, yeah. it doesn't make sense it to have a lawn. It doesn't make sense to have a lawn. We yeah. could be growing food. That's loamy soil. What's that? That's loamy soil. Loamy. Loamy. Yeah. Nice loamy oh, soil. Loamy soil. That's what it should should be. Oh yeah. <laughs> it's um, it's decomposed grass clippings and leaves. Okay. That's for the most part. It's Long Island compost from Brookhaven. I think so. Yeah. Have a long day. There's a big pit over there. Yeah. How about those wooden chips? Sure. What is it? Is it the sawdust? Wood chips. Wood chips. Next time. Thanks. Right. Yeah, that's free. We get that for free. That's true. Because I was going to go to Brookhaven 
to get some. I'm glad I came here. Yeah. So thank you so much, Carter. Yeah, no problem. Thanks, yeah, thanks for uh, come more the, the interest. And then I will call you. Then we will schedule an update. If you do another okay. update, yeah. yeah. And then come and look at the yard. Yep. And yep. For some really, really cool things. Cool. Okay. Right. Still beloved. Remember, get outside, go into your yard, do some yard work. Or even if you live in an apartment complex or building, you can do your own little planting in little containers. Or get out to your neighborhood. Probably there is something like this. Find out. And then you can go and help and then be close to earth. And it's therapeutic. Get some gardening this year. And then especially growing your own vegetable. Even if it's um, a tomato that you can start with. I want to encourage you. I want to do that. I'm encouraging everybody to go ahead and have a little garden of your own. All right. Until next time, let's go and listen to our music from Empress Julia. Stay positive. Stay safe and be well. Bye bye. Bye. Lord, one of your hugs will be nice right now Though sometimes I build the wall But please climb over it All I need is you Like roses need rain Curse me to stand you told me not to worry